Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Uh, back with another review. This one's for Res, please. It was published by Graffiti Games and it was developed by Longnet Games. You play as Arcan and Zepth, these two little adorable uh, wizard apprentices you see on the screen. They're not really good at anything, as you can tell from the story in the background. They stayed out all night partying instead of preparing for their exam. So they really they really suck at uh, their wizard skills. All they can do and the only scroll they have is for resurrections. So when uh, the evil presence comes and uh, takes over their town and throws them to a pit because he doesn't even worry about them because their magic is so weak. That, so they must uh, try to save the day uh, while uh, dying over and over again. You pretty much sacrifice your brother, uh, their brothers by the way, and you sacrifice each other to uh, complete the levels. Like uh, you'll throw yourself on spike so that a person can uh, jump on your body, or throw yourself in lava and then you can jump on their head while they're sinking. Things like that, and then when you get to the other side of that, you'll resurrect them. And you can only do this, uh, you each have three gems, but you can pick up gems along the way. But, uh, it, it's... I, there's plenty of gems. This game is really meant to be co-op, though. If you play this by yourself, you're going to see some really, really tough moments and some difficulty spikes. I played it with myself, and I was able to... Uh, finish it though but it's going to be a lot more fun and a lot more laps to uh, play it with a friend as you see here you raise your brother it's just so much so many comical moments there's like funny ways you die and there's funny ways that you sacrifice your brother it's really challenging though like I said there's some really really tough moments I think it's even tough on co-op and there is some glitchy moments I'm not going to lie there's some moments where uh, I don't think things work the way they're supposed to, and you have to restart. But even with that, it's still a very entertaining game. You uh, pick the levels you want to play from this big book, and uh, it has all the levels in it. You can start where you want to play. I think it'd be really, really good for speedrunning. I think speedrunners would really have a good time with this game. Uh, but I think the most fun it's going to be had is if you play it with someone uh, close to you. And it has to be that way because it's just local co-op. Couch co-op is not online, which would have been cool. But you get what you get. I think, I think it's worth your time. I don't think it's for everyone, though. I think some people are going to get frustrated with it. Uh, if you like challenging puzzle games and you're not... A, you're not afraid of a little bit of repetitiveness because it is kind of repetitive you're going to have a good time with it um, I gave it a 7 out of 10 I think it's fun, I think it's hilarious, I thought it has cute characters I think some things could be approved on mainly on how it works, get it to work right because sometimes things are a little glitchy, sometimes puzzles don't work right but despise that I really had a good time with it I really think uh, most people will too. If you're one of those people though that give up easy on games and don't like a real super challenge, this might not be for you. But if uh, you like speed running, you like a good challenge, uh, you like dark humor, you're definitely going to have a good time with this. So uh, check it out. Let us know what you thought about it. I had fun with it. Could have been a little better, but it's still a pretty fun game. So I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, look for the written review on our pages. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the leaderboard. 7 out of 10.